think we're in. The audio thing's not working. Hang on. Open volume mixer. Why is this not? There we go. All right, we're live. Final hour of week 24. Uh, if you guys want a sneak peek at the DM uh, email, which I just submitted for approval, you can check it over the Twitter. Uh, I tweeted out the DM1 and DM2 parts, so you can see what it's going to look like when it finally gets approved. Thanks to F Snow Zombie, who is in chat right now. Thank you so much for your hard work, man. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Do some good yeah. stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. I love it. So good. It's so good. Yo, what is that? That's horrifying. What is what? It just popped up on the map. What? It's a face? It looks like a, a weird, like, something that uh, you put over, oh, like, a 3D yeah. model on, like, a video game character that just kind of got peeled face. off. Uh. That's so <laughs> horrifying. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yes. okay. You're yeah. so trolling us right now, right? Yeah. Now. Yep. Clearly. Oh. Yeah. That thing is weird as hell. It oh, sticks yeah. out like a sword, though. Yeah, I mean, that thing's been in every room. The, the skull. <laughs> That's just been chilling. Yeah. Oh, you noticed it? Yeah. You haven't said anything. Yeah, I noticed the skull. Well, I mean, because you haven't described it as being in the room, so like, I assume it's just like there for like aesthetic it's, or something. It's never been there. I I, I add it partway through. Each yeah, it pops room. up like halfway through. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's get back in. It's the last forty-five or so minutes. Uh, let's do this. Go. Grommin. It's got that? each crunchy food. There's a carrot and hummus because I'm an old stepdad. Ramen's repeat has changed and he's now having a conversation with Rai, I guess. But, oh, that guy just smacked me, so I'm gonna hit him back. Yeah, he's smacking back. Mm -hmm. he can't oh, yeah. I give, I give him a good punch. Okay, so, um,. Um, so you give who, oh, the guy a good punch, yes. Yeah. Um, so, ugh, doesn't seem to respond. He's just kind of like, oh, 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 you so funny. Why, why you laugh? I punch you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grumman, oh, 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 oh. Robin, you slay me! <laughs> he like shakes his head and he's like, what the heck? And then he looks over at Rai again and he's like, you call me Mongoose? What that mean? Rai looks at you like you're insane. <laughs> and, uh... Is... You show your feet in the right! Otto, you hear her? She call me Mongoose! Yeah! I don't know why! Because, Robin, much like the mongoose, you attack those that would threaten you and kill you. You are a mongoose. Oh. Yeah, you're a mongoose. But you are a mongoose. I didn't say it, but you are a mongoose. But then, wouldn't everybody be mongoose? I mean, if someone attack you, you attack them. Not all are strong like us. You're the strongest mongoose, Grommin. You're the biggest mongoose. Grommin, like, looks at himself. He's like... And he looks around at everybody else, and they're smaller than him, and he's like, Oh yeah, I am big. <laughs> the biggest! The most lethal. The strongest! Why don't you make a wooden carving out of a mongoose, Grommin? Ooh, yeah, yes, yes. Grommin <laughs> uh, grabs out his uh, scrimshaw tools. And Ooh, wooden. how fun! <laughs> Wood, and he like... Uh, <laughs> Tries to make a mongoose. I don't even know what <laughs> mongoose looks like, but he freaking makes something. Okay, does Grom know what a mongoose looks like? Make me a uh, nature check, please. A nature check. All right. Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Grommin actually does the exact opposite. Grommus, Grommin makes a snake, <laughs> like a viper, <laughs> thinking it's a mongoose. Oh, great mongoose, Grommin. He holds it out and he's like, "I show you mongoose." The and deadliest. He, like, opens Mongoose. The deadliest mongoose. And he holds it out and shows everybody. Really annoyed with you, the chieftain guy grabs a thing, throws it on the ground, and stomps on it, and says, Tell the story, Grommin. 
Ramen gets up and uh, hits him in the face, or like axes him. You're gonna swing him an axe? Oh yeah, yeah. He just freaking crushed my mongoose. Okay, so you swing at the guy with the axe, and as soon as you swing at the axe, as soon as you do it, all of a sudden the girl who is getting very upset because you just weren't telling the story, she was getting really perturbed and starting to be pestering and whatnot. All of a sudden you see her face light up. She's so excited and everything. And you're swinging forward with the axe, and you hit the guy in the chest, and he's standing there uh, in front of you. And as your uh, cut comes through, it goes right through his chest, blood pouring down the sides. I mean, you hold him there, and he falls to the ground. And you look around, just kind of like take in the room, kind of like her angry face, her angry grind face. And when you look back down at the guy that you just killed, you see that the dragon is slain before you. There's literally a large dead dragon in front of you. You did it! You did killed you... the dragon, Grauman! Every single person is a story. I killed, I killed the dragon. I can't believe you did it on your own. Did it? It's the story. The story is true. You are. You you do slay dragons, Grauman. That is the story. Oh, it's so true. Grauman, the dragon slayer. Grauman. Oh, I'm so excited that you were able to do this. And she kind of comes forward, like lets herself off the table and she comes rushing at you with her big flowing dress. And again, the woman is absolutely stunning. She looks amazing. If she wasn't just an attractive person in general, the way she's dressed, you know, to the nines doesn't say, well, she's just the 11th. That's right. That's right. Spinal tap reference. And um, she makes her way over to you and um, she like throws herself at you and wraps her arms around. And she's like, oh, Grauman, I just, I just, it's, it's your, it's your destiny. It's what you're, you're made to do in life. You need to, you need to come with me. We need to go and we need to build our house and we need to be happy and we need to live our lives. And honestly, this, this is a, this is a great thing for Grauman to do. I mean, your friends even think it's a good idea for Grauman. I mean, Grauman's worked hard. He's helped them accomplish all of their goals and they've succeeded with all of their goals. Grauman has selflessly assisted all three of them with doing that. The idea of Grauman getting a, a happy life I mean, the number of orcs that, that are in control of this world, Thonk would love to see Grauman settle down and have little Grauminettes. <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine little Grauman's running around? Hmm. Um, yeah, Grauman's all about it. He, like, embraces her and, and holds her close. And uh, he looks at the barkeep, and, he, and he's like, another round for, for friends. And so another round comes over for you guys. Do you say anything or do anything? The three of you? A celebratory. Robin! Yeah, there you go. Like <laughs> a celebratory drink mm -hmm. for an, mm -hmm. a retiring now, orc. Outside of that world, in uh, you guys watching this, you're only seeing Grom inside of this, but you can see something went right. Something something happened correct, and Grom is kind of like going along the story and everything, and, and things are progressing the way it's supposed to, um, which is not a bad thing. But now there's, now the story is getting to this point where the the moment of belief is trying to pull Grommet in and keep him there, or something that's going to keep him there for good. You can tell that Grommet is becoming significantly more immersed into the story, like falling into it. And you can tell that it has something to do with the fact that Grommet is with some woman or something, whatever the case may be. You can't hear her side of the conversation, but you can hear Grommet being with some sort of woman, and and he's falling that much more immersed like into it. You're so pretty. I like your hair. <laughs> but this is, you know, the real world for you guys. What do you say, think, do, or whatever about the fact that Grauman's falling into this? Because Grauman doesn't seem to just be like, oh, this is an attractive woman. Let me go. Uh -huh. Grauman seems to be, let me build a white picket fence and settle down with a large diamond ring. Or, you know, Ruby or Sapphire or whatever he's into. Or she's into. Topaz. Keep listening gemstones while we think. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Violet's at her, and uh, she's like, this is bad. He's even worse. Well, we haven't slapped him yet. I guess. Here we go. Otto just <laughs> runs for it, climbs Grauman, gives him a smack on the mouth. <laughs> So he mounts Grommet and smacks him in the mouth. Climbs up his up his up his thigh, crawling up along his arm, probably. 
hanging onto him like a spider monkey, mm -hmm. smacks him in the face. Okay. Hard as he can. Absolutely. And then well, just jumps off. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, please, Otto, but um, I believe, sorry, Bear, I believe Otto has a uh, 10 strength, and he's that small is, sized. That is correct. 10 strength, and he's small sized mm -hmm. um, compared to Grauman's. Uh, 8,000 constitution and being not uh, being borderline large sized. Yeah. So yeah. Grauman barely notices it. It's one of those, like, that was weird. Like, um, the way it comes through to you, Maggie, is while um, you're having a conversation, people are kind of like being happy or whatever, and you feel something hit you in the side of the head, and you look over and you see people are being boisterous off to the side, and you think maybe somebody threw something and it hit you, or whatever the case may be. But it was nothing particularly noteworthy. Grumman's it wasn't like, like it wasn't like it was like a. But. Yeah, Grumman's like, you eyes like, like like sap, and he goes to say sapphire. But as soon as he does, like he feels something, he's like, what 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 was I say? What was I saying? And then he goes oh, he goes back. We were we were discussing the wedding plans and how many children we were going to have. <laughs> And the conversation keeps going. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll bear all the children for you. I want army. All the children. Big army. <laughs> all, all of them. Otto and jumps you, back. You very pretty babies. Stares at Grauman for a moment. This okay. is really creepy. You're like, you're like, arm my arm, and I'm like, we make babies. We make babies. <laughs> Otto's happy. <laughs> I, I've jumped off and, lo and looking at him from a sl slight distance, ready for another axe swing, but it doesn't appear anything has happened. Mm -hmm. Well, shit, that didn't work. I think we need to hit him harder. Can, I mean, I hit him pretty hard. Uh, mm. Right puts her palm on, like, the flat of Grumman's back. Point blank. Here we go. Throw her ten feet. <laughs> Sam, please, with advantage. In case anybody says I know, ranged attack rolls rolled at melee is disadvantage, but I'm doing it because he's inside of a what you call it. You fucking yeah. Not <laughs> <For me. laughs> That's actually perfect. I don't want yeah. to hurt him. I just want to knock him across the room. Yeah. He does get All sent right. flying ten feet. Yeah. So, Grom, all of a sudden you feel something smash you between, was it between the shoulder blades or on the chest? It's just like in the flat of his back, the small of his back. Okay. Blast you from behind, and it sends you hurling across the room. And as it does so, as it sends you hurling across the room, right, Grom, it sends you over here, and you literally smack your head um, on oh, this, uh, yeah. this right. picture up here, because it's, you know, real to fake. So it's exaggerated. Smack your head on the picture there, and you're like, oh! And while you're doing so, you look up, and and he he looks through at the uh, you look up at the the uh, the image in front of you, and you see the image of of Black Hill up there, and uh, you know the Battle of Black Hill. Could you roll for me uh, an intelligence check, Maggie, with, <laughs> with with advantage? Okay. I expect a six. At least. I expect a six. <laughs> It's not the DC. Oh! oh! Moment of clarity. Wow. Vivid of the day. I remember the piles of bodies that I put in in a row to make a wall to protect us. Mm -hmm. She doesn't. Uh, he doesn't only remember the details of the day. He remembers why it even was that he was there. He's he's got something to do. Ramen spent his whole life helping his friends out. And, and they succeeded in all of their goals, everything that they wanted to do. Uh, orcs had taken over large regions. Rai has uh, become <clears throat> become uh, one with whoever her master thingy is. That I imagine Grumman's head, it's literally just Rai and master thingy happy. Um, uh, Otto has become one of the greatest musicians that have ever existed in all the lands. Um, tells the best stories, they're so best. And then there's, then there's Grumman. And he was there. Why was he on the road that day? Why was he traveling? Why did he even meet these people? Grauman. Grauman need find. And he like looks up and he's like, 
and he looks over and let's just say that there's like a, a golden cup in the corner like a like a glass that's like a chalice but it's mm -hmm. golden and he looks mm -hmm. over he's like golden golden what was that what was that group called mm -hmm. i think it actually is the golden chalice yeah the golden chalice okay. yeah he's like he turns around and he looks at everybody in the in the in the room and he's like i need to find golden chalice and we, Otto, we need to go now it's sitting right in front of you in in the world not not the real world so he said i need to find the golden chalice i need to find it now and otto has one sitting right in front of him that's right here no no the people they they kill my family otto yeah they did and the chalice is he yours. He like goes over and he and he like throws the chalice on the ground and he like grabs out of by the shoulders and he's like, "We need to find them." Thonk gestures that to the. That's why. That's why we were here. Thonk gestures to the like, pretty lady. He's like, "Now you make a new family." No, <laughs> no, I can't make new family. Family no safe. You will keep them safe. You are a strong mongoose. Ramen, <laughs> put me down. <laughs> Grumman's still holding you. <laughs> He's like confused. No, and <laughs> no. They they know safe. They they come. They will find them. We are safe, Grumman. Everyone is safe. Everyone. Everyone. No, Grumman puts you down. He's like, no, not everyone. No, everyone. Oh, everyone, no happy. This is not right. And Grumman's like looking around and. Uh, Everything just seems, he's starting to like see everything like look weird, seem really odd. Like Thonk's actually like promoting that he makes a family and like this, there's something really off about this lady who's just keeps trying to like get me to be with her and she's brown like rushing brown things. Cow? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sam and, Sam and uh, Bear, uh, out of that world, Otto and Rai are seeing Gram and freaking out and it, it, it's but a sheet of ice between uh, Grauman there and Grauman here. How do you two choose to uh, assist? You could just sit back and let it play its course, or you can choose to assist. I'm kind of on edge. Well, I, I, I think that did it. What should we do now? Uh, it, it kind of helped when I called to you. I don't... <laughs> Grauman! 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 <laughs> Grauman! Do I hear Nothing? them? No. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we do nothing for now. Yeah, I guess we do nothing. We'll just let it play <laughs> out. It. Okay. And so, um, uh, inside the world, the three of them are consistently like Raman, like, calm down, calm down. You don't need to, like, just, it's okay. It's okay. She's a great woman. She wants to have all your babies, the army of babies, all the babies. I'm Everyone ready to have you, babies. Everyone. None. I have babies, but not now. No. <laughs> no. I need. I don't I have legitimate find... babies yet. No legitimate babies. <laughs> I need to find them. And then he like looks at her. She's like, he's like, you, you pretty, but, but I'm not. I know ready. But not that pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Raman's looking for that thirteen. So um. <laughs> he didn't say she wasn't pretty. He said, no, 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 no. He's no, just I not know. ready. All right. So um, make me a will save, please, Maggie. Oh God. You can do it, Maggie. You have inspiration. It's so bad. Uh, no, I don't. Oh. I think it's, a, it's a wisdom save. Oh, shit. 17. Brahmin, all of a sudden, things are, are just kind of so strange and so weird, and everybody's trying, and they're trying to convince you, and they're really trying, and Brahmin's pleading his case, and Brahmin is arguing and arguing with them, and, and they won't listen to you, Brahmin. They will not listen to you. They're coming around and patting you on the side. No, and no. I keep backing Even up. like, listen, I'll do the ceremony. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> and I keep backing up, and they keep coming over, and, and the lady's, like, holding on to me. And I, mm -hmm. and then I get all the way back up into the painting again, and I look up at it. At Grauman, they are still there. You're looking at the painting. The painting's going, but but you just can't. Like, it, you know, nothing you do, no matter how hard you try, you can't wrestle yourself 
free and you feel like nothing is right. You feel like it's a dream, but it's so real and it's just pissing you off. Like you're getting furious about the facts that, that this is happening. And eventually he gives into that anger. And it's literally like as Otto and Rai are kind of like getting closer and like, hey, are you, Brahmin, come to us, Brahmin, Brahmin, it's okay, come to us. All of a sudden, Grahman rips into this screaming rage as like his mind is just trying to force away all this fake stuff. And Grahman, with just a sheer force of will, with nothing like a, 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 a cage around his mind of anger, is able to burst free of the enchantment. And so, unlike the two of them who come through all groggy and tired and whatnot, no, Grahman comes through heart pumping like a mile a minute fit of rage like just like breaks through the loud scream that echoes through this empty uh he's like, this empty tower. and he has his like hand on his head and he's like he's just like thrashing his arms so if anyone's near him he's probably gonna hit you in a way yeah. it's oh, literally, we, we kept our distance at this point the two of them were like duck and jump back out of the way they they were aware of what was about to happen and they mm. saw the explosiveness coming and so they duck and jump back and get out of the way. And um, and Grahman is now there. And he's just like, <laughs> as um, as he comes to, and he realizes he's in an empty room, which is kind of <laughs> not as bad as you guys were looking before, but still a tired looking Otto and Rye. People are like commitment issues. <laughs> Saw that. Commitment issues. Oh, God, it's so good. <laughs> uh, Grahman's like furious and he's thrashing still. And as, as I'm coming to, I'm like, <sighs> And Rahman, I'm like, he's Rahman. just breathing heavily and he's looking around. Calm down, big guy. It's okay, buddy. Hello? Otto? Right? Yeah. Hey. No. You're no real. This is not real. No, 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 Something's not okay. right. It's, okay. it's, okay. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> I promise. Ask me anything. Hey, Amen. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what you eat yesterday? Uh, That's like the first thing that came to his head. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, oh shit, no, I might be an illusion. I don't remember. <laughs> no, we will. Trust me. <laughs> it was a kale salad. Come on. With quinoa, yeah. there were veggies. Very healthy. Very healthy. Oh, man. <laughs> it's an illusion. Um, <laughs> so, and the three of you are finally kind of like there in this room alone. It's a large room, but in this room alone, the room is... You know, naked. The room's empty. Where, where, where are we? Truthfully, we don't know, but we're here. We're here. This is a a real place. And Grumman, we're, we're like, Grumman starts touching the wall. Like, is it? Are is it? Are there any doors? Yeah, there's absolutely a door out of this place. Yeah, sure. There's one door uh, coming you, out of this place. Have you, have you tried door? No, we were we were waiting for you, but I mean, right? Maybe you should try it. I trust the door. Okay, it opens up and opens up into a hallway. You can immediately tell from uh, where you are that the uh, building that you're in is clearly cylindrical. Like it's obviously a tower that you're standing in right now. Um, and when you step out, you step out into a hallway, and it's literally just a hallway here with a door that seems to lead out out of the, the tower potentially, and a stairwell that goes both up and down. But immediately inside that doorway, just standing there, kind of like. In his own days or in his own head, is Thunk. Is that, is that Thunk? That's Thunk. Thunk! Grauman's gonna poke him. Okay. So um, you go over and you uh, poke at Thunk. And he, uh, as soon as you poke at Thunk, as soon as you touch him, all of a sudden you feel your mind getting pulled from you, Maggie. You get, you feel your mind getting ripped from where it is right now. You no longer see everything that's around you. As a matter of fact, Maggie, what you see is... What the hell? Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm going back in. <laughs> I regret going back into the castle. I regret touching you. I see nothing. Okay. <laughs> You see nothing? I see, I see nothing. pitch black. No, no, no. Yeah. This, this, it should be both. Uh, did I, I see nothing. Oh, because I didn't give the character of sight. <clears throat> uh, one second. Uh, I always do it like this and save. Now you guys should be good. Just the two of you should be good. I see. Yep. Oh. What the fuck? 
Oh, now it's gone. <laughs> oh, uh, come gone. on. I had to uh, uh, undo because I moved the mini, but all right, this is easier to fix. <sighs> you have weird ass dreams, dude. Okay. I still see uh, nothing. You can't move. I don't see anything. Scott, there's nothing there. There you go. Right? No, Scott, no. no. <laughs> we wouldn't lie. <laughs> This is not an illusion. Yeah, this you do. No, I, just, I, I don't see it. <laughs> there, you go. there we go. So that's what you say. Who? But you can't move. You literally are lying there. Your eyes are open, and you can't move a single muscle. You can just, you I can just talk? lie there. You can't move your mouth. You can't move a muscle. You can't do anything. You're just lying there. Oh shit! All right, I'm gonna do that for like 20 minutes now. See you guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody else sees Grom and rush over and touch Thonk, like, to wake him up, and all of a sudden, Grom seems distracted. Grom is just standing there, like... <laughs> However, Thonk, who is literally kind of in his own head, in his own days, he's been performing all these wonderful rituals, he's been... He's been taking over the universe. <laughs> the universe. Oh, it's like your I atypical G-rated. <laughs> no, no, are you kidding me? Uh, Gr Grauman has, has got, gotten to the point where he is the right hand of Grumsh. You know what I mean? He is Grumsh's eye where he cannot see. He's Grumsh's hand where he cannot read. Who is? He's Grumsh's will when uh, Grumsh is otherwise occupied. Grauman, it, wow. That's Thonk why I was there, is, I gotcha. Thonk is, um is crazy in into like this world right now so of course um uh however all of a sudden something changes and he's pulled from where he is he's pulled from what he has control for uh, uh of everything and his attention immediately goes to being in instantly inside of a uh uh what is it called um temple or whatever to grumsh uh, give me one second as I give permissions for everybody else to see what you're doing because, you know, nobody wants to be bored. Um, and Otto was the last one. And now they should be able to see what you see. I don't see it. Right here. Okay, now I see. Okay. Gotcha. Um, go ahead, Mike Hale. Well, uh, all right. If I, I'm, where, so I was doing things and all of a sudden I like got ripped. And all of a sudden you're pulled from that world and you're in this one. You're like, and you're, it's like abrupt and you're like the fuck like i was a master of my own universe effectively now here i am sitting in a temple uh uh against my will but it's a grumsh temple so maybe he's the one that summoned you here all right well then with that in mind i will start walking through the temple is, um, that, a, is that a wall or a door that right there is a door and you're able to walk through it all right okay so before you do anything else the other two of you come rushing through and you see, um, you see Thonk uh, standing there, and Grom run over and touch Grom, uh, touch Thonk, and seems distracted. What do you guys do? Uh, he's caught, isn't he? Yeah. Looks like it. Fuck. I like to think that was you just dropping yeah yeah just dropping something <laughs> well you should probably hit him again i guess right recipe for success <laughs> <laughs> who hits him? i'll just shrugs <laughs> on the count of three i'm gonna out, i'm gonna just out of blast him in the back Okay, do you do the same thing? You go over and you touch his back and, and blast him from point blank? Yeah, I will do it from like one or two feet away. Um, and so you go to Eldritch Blast him. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, that hits me. Sending him 10 feet more. <laughs> Does that hit both of us or just one of us? She asked him. Just pretty boy, just pretty boy Thonk. Did um, you hit Thonk or Grommin? You, you did it to Grommin or Thonk? Thonk. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. So you hit Pretty Boy Thunk, and boy. Um, yeah. you send him, uh, you send it flying forward, and because there's something in front of you, you smack into that something, and ends up flopping you forward and into the pool of blood. So you actually yeah. end up falling into a pool of blood because of the fact that uh, that, that happened. 
go. Okay. I drag myself out of the pool of blood, now, like, looking around, seeing where that blast came from. Uh, dragging yourself out of the pool of blood, you um, uh, are completely covered in it. Yeah. And you look around, and you don't see anything anywhere. However, you do see that you're inside this room that has this blood, and it seems to be catacombs or sarcophagi or something like that around you. And there's a body lying on the table across the way. I'll go look and uh, inspect the body, but defensive... That didn't seem to help. He seems completely immersed anyways, guys. What do you do? Huh. I thought that would work. Me too. Your turn. <laughs> All right. Otto just rubs his hands together. I'm going to cast Major Image. Sure. And I'm going to attempt to create in front of Thonk an image of Grumsh. Like, oh. as, as accurate to, to uh, the understanding of it as I have. Sure. And you and um, Rai see Grumsh. Thonk mm -hmm. and Grommin don't seem to notice it. Nothing. Mm -hmm. So as Otto conjures this image, Clearly attempting to stir something within Thonk and Grom and putting a lot of effort into it. He looks over at Rye. Is it working? No. <laughs> Damn it. Ugh. I just uh, relax it and just let it go. Ugh. Well, I've done all I can do. It's funny. I I'm sorry. I keep laughing at uh, hashtag plan D. So, um... Um, make me an, uh, an Arcana check, both of you gentlemen. Okay. I'm actually kind of good at that. 10 and a 12. Mm-hmm. Scott, you're muted. Oh, you're muted, you're muted. Uh, I said, except you, uh, you both suck, so no, uh, not, not good there. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, nothing seems to go. You see a body lying in the um, uh, in a, the other well. I go and inspect the body. Okay. You look at it, and it looks like Otto. Actually, it is Otto. Um, what does my what do I have any memory of last time I saw him? Um, you're thinking about it. But it's been a long time All right. since you saw How fresh does he look, corpse-wise? Uh, rather preserved. Either he died very recently or he's been preserved magically. This is in a in a fresh. In a, like a knee-jerk reaction. I don't know if in this world I have it, but I fumble, see if I have diamonds on me. Mm -hmm. And if I do, I'll attempt to revivify. Yeah, like a little handful of diamonds or whatever. Yeah. And you kind of go down and you cast revivify on the, the body. And it doesn't seem to take. Mm. Like you see, that you see color return to the flesh. You see um, wounds close. You see uh, everything about the body seems as though it should come to life, despite that fact it's still lifeless. With my knowledge of how the spell works, would that have happened on a body older than a minute dead? Uh, wounds no, closing. It would, not, it would not have. So that's immediately a miss. Something's weird. Well, I mean, maybe he died a minute ago. Who knows? But if it was within a minute, he would come back to life, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but every time uh, you cast a resurrection spell on somebody, they're not forced to come back. Was that a 5e thing or just a Pathfinder thing? Uh, that was always a Dungeon Dragons thing. If it changed in 5e, fuck 5e. <laughs> it's a choice to come back to life. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that, then that's why, that's why when you cast spells like Speak with the Dead, it's forcing the spirit to come back. They don't come back by choice, and it's a desecration of the body. Just saying. Gotcha. Uh, I let out like a, a heavy sigh of uh, disappointment and uh, close my eyes for like just a second and then I'll turn around and head out of the room. Con equally confused and uh, disappointed. Okay. And I will head to the other side then. What do the two of you do? Um, I don't... I'm out of ideas, man. I'm yeah, fucking... dude. I got nothing. 
I got I mean, you see, left. you see, Grommin got thrown across the room with, with uh, Thonk. They're both kind of flopped on the ground, but both of them completely, completely immersed. If the two of you just want to stand there and let things play out, that's perfectly fine. I didn't know if you had any other ideas. No, I'm, I'm, I'm my well is empty. That's fine. It's I mean, fine. I'm trying, I'm trying to message Thonk. Sure, you try to message Thonk. Go ahead. Wake up! <laughs> you... <laughs> You're nice with them. You're just mean with me, man. Can you make me a perception check, please, Thunk? But I have a passive perception of 24. Mm. Not for this one. I love right. passive perception. Not for this one. Uh, perception. 23. Okay. So you think you hear Rai's voice, but it's coming from very far away. So Further then... Down the hallway where you are. Coming from down the hallway, like where I came from, or further forward? Further ahead. Uh, I'll, I'll mutter, like, right. And I'll, like, move with purpose okay. down the hallway. You actually come uh, down the hallway, and much sooner than you expected, like, you thought the voice came from much further, you see Rai's body lying there. I'll reach down quickly and see if it's dead. It, it is. And it's equally um, fresh or preserved. I, I send uh, another message as you're inspecting the corpse. Wake up! The voice comes from further down the hallway. So, uh, like, as my hand is, is probably on, on either her, her neck to feel for a pulse or something, and I hear it, I, like, quickly retract my hand and shake my head. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. And then continue down the hallway. Like, that where right I hear there the voice. is not actually a hall. That's uh, a portcullis right there. And it seems to be blocked off. Is this where I heard the voice coming from? It is. Through, through that portcullis. Um... Meld into stone. Can I go in through one side and come out the other? A a absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as it's a shallow area. Yeah, so that's what I'll do then. Sure. I'm not gonna so let you guys melt into stone, and you're able to do that. Not the actual bars themselves, but the yeah, the, the stone on the side. Yeah, yep. exactly. And you do that. Good, good job, sir. That's awesome. All right, so um, I just kind of step through like the the stone isn't there, and then within yep. a few moments, you see my leg come out, and I step through. It's it's forceful, you know what I mean? It's like it's like forcing your way through it. It's not mm -hmm. like it's it's easy or even as simple as going through water. Um, and you keep going forward. Yeah, and I'm and I, I'll I'll actually say louder like, Rai, are you there? Okay, you keep moving. Yeah, you see before you an altar with some strange swirling darkness on it but another body on the altar off to the side uh, uh sorry Carp Star Carp Star Carp well, what's side. this uh, oh my apologies you also see a chained up woman human woman uh that's chained up and it's kind of like hanging there um the way that she's uh been uh, chained and you can tell like the markings went on her this is clearly the work of a devout follower of Grumsh um delivering some sort of pain with or without purpose to this prisoner okay she's alive for now. I ignore her. I go up to the body that says Grommet on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks equally fresh um, uh, as the other two. Uh, one you would cast Revivify on, the other one you didn't. Okay. But I'm there. Can you I move see, my eyes? You, nope, you cannot move your eyes, but you see Thonk standing in front of you. Thonk looks incredible. Holy crap. He's older. He's much older. But that doesn't change the fact that he is the garb he's in and the shape that he's in right now sure there's a few more scars but they they do him some justice they look good and thank god that hairstyle changed i mean i mean i mean it's it's almost to the point where i'm like yo f snow can you uh can you hook him up because this is rough but anyway so um uh go ahead um thunk uh reach down Grommin, feel for a pulse on that that's dead i look back to the woman who's barely alive how long ago did he die I'll walk over to her and, like, grab her by, like, the, the chin and, like, force her to look at me. How long ago? I'll throw a quick heal on her. Okay. Um, her wounds seem to ignore the healing. Maybe some sort of necromancy or something to stop it. I, I'll throw her chin to the side. I don't want to burn. Like, he just basically doesn't want to burn his last third level spell, but he will on, on an off chance, I guess. Mm -hmm. And, uh... I'll just try and revivify Grommin. As soon as you revivify Grommin, two things happen uh, beyond, you know, the flesh coming, uh, gaining color, or some of the wounds closing, so on and so forth. Two things happen. One, immediately Grommin starts to move, and Maggie, you can RP him. 
and immediately Grauman uh, starts to move, and you guys notice Grauman moving, no longer in this stat stasis stuck thing. Uh, Grauman is moving and no longer being forced to hold on to Thonk in your world. Do I feel like any different, or can I just like act like I normally would? You act like you normally would. Sounds okay. like having two HPs. And I and I remember where I came from. Um, uh, you remember everything. Okay. As you like. Dunk. Whoa. Dunk. <laughs> where, where are we? What is this? What? What? I don't know. I've been pulled to this temple. But, but you were, you were. I heard Rai's in voice. In the hallway. You were in the hallway with, with Rai and Otto, and then I touched you. And now I hear, and... You haven't seen them in years. I mean, Grauman looks... He looks pretty good. Grauman's aged a considerable amount. He looks pretty good, but you haven't seen them in years. Go ahead. No, so I'll, I'll like, look at, uh, at him and just, like, Grauman, it has been over a decade since I've seen you. No. No, Thonk. That's not right. We we see things, but they're not there, and we're we really in in a room. It had one door, and you in the hallway. You in the hallway. You are in the hallway. Grauman, you speak nonsense. I've just brought you back from the dead. He, like, gets up and he, like, grabs you because you're, like, smaller than him and he, like, shakes you and he's like, Dunk, you need to wake up. This is not right. This is not where we are. I heard Rai's voice come from this room. Have you seen no, her? No, she's not in this room. She in the hallway with you. We in you the hallway. You hear her saying that. You can, actually, sorry, you can actually hear Grauman saying that inside your world. But me in their world isn't saying anything? Okay. I keep being muted. No, you're actually like caught in a state of like complete stasis. However, Grom has action. Okay, so they, Ryan Otto can hear what Grom is saying, but not me. Got it. Okay, yeah, you guys heard all of that. Okay, cool. Donk just kind of continues to like subtly shake his head. He's like, it has been over a decade, 10 no. years. No, Donk. No. We, two. No, two seconds ago, you. Then I, where are they? Not, if you speak truth, Grumman, where hallway. are they? Hallway, their circle hallway. I gesture they're back. In room. Their bodies are in the hallway. No, no, I don't know where. I don't. I don't know this place. I. Mm. No. Breathe, Grumman. One minute, and I want to go over here and inspect this thing. You can hear them, right? You can hear Grumman, but not me. So okay, we. I obviously picked up the gist that he keeps saying we're not dead. They're not dead. So uh, I'm going to message Thunk again. Okay. What do you say? Uh, I'm obviously not dead. You see Thunk. in... You see and hear that come from Grumman's mouth. Oh. <laughs> In voice. <laughs> Actually, so go ahead, Ken Maggie. Can you do? Can you do a, a Rai voice for us? Saying, I'm obviously not dead. A Rai um, voice with a Grommin twist? <laughs> no, no, no. Just a Rai voice. Go ahead, Maggie. <laughs> I'm obviously not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I'm like over here, and then I turn around and I see, hear that, and see that come from Grommin. I'm just like, I put both Does hands Grommin on. Grommin like, hear his own. Does Grommin hear that? You feel no. strange for a moment, but you don't know why, and you aren't aware of the fact oh, that you did it. I feel, I don't feel good. I put my hands on, <laughs> <laughs> I put my hands on Grumman's cheek. Grumman, are you possessed? The ghost. I know what possessed mean, but my tummy hurt. Is there another spirit dwelling within your body? Uh, right. Looks Grumman at Adam. Like, looks at Adam. She's like, apparently that hurts his tummy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. No, I, mean, I don't possess. Careful. Why you say I possess? Rai's voice came from your mouth. Rai's voice come from my mouth? Oh, that weird. <laughs> Ryan Otto would have heard that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it just, you can speak through Grauman. Do it again. Oh. Wait, hang on. <laughs> I use message. My name's Grumman and I'm a loser. <laughs> My name's Grumman and I'm a loser. Otto is rolling on the floor. <laughs> Thong takes a step back. He looks utterly confused. And now just like, none of this makes any 
sense. Grumman's like sitting down now and he's like, oh. <laughs> Donk, you need wake up. Where are we? Like I yell, like, where are we? We in hallway. Hallway I where? Don't... <laughs> I know, I can, no. I can hear Grumman trying to describe where they are. And um, she messages Donk. She says, we're in some kind of tower. I think it was an illusion. It was a fake castle. Do you remember the castle? Is Does any of that Grum stir a memory? Wisdom, make, make me a wisdom save, sir. Please don't fucking suck. Where's Rachel? <laughs> Where's Rachel? <laughs> Where are they? A, a ten. <laughs> Shit. I, I, I shake my head and I like, that is, no, that's, that doesn't make any sense. We're in a, a tomb of some no, sort. No, we're not in no, tomb. No, you're not! <laughs> we, we in room, it's dark, and then we go out in hallway, and you standing in hallway. And then I touch you, and now I hear how I get You here. guys obviously hear Grauman say that. And you also know that Grauman is in his own mind while being there after touching. Do I have... Hmm. That was Sir Ryan. Sorry, Sam and Otto. I have nothing to... I have no way to fix this. I have no idea what to do. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> All I can do is message him occasionally. Okay. <laughs> um, could I try dispelling magic on Grauman and seeing if that would, like, do anything? Sure, go right ahead. I have it prepped, so I'll just cast dispel magic and see, see if it does anything on Grauman. Does it do anything? Did you cast a spell? Oh, yeah, I'll click it. Sorry. Third level or lower. Um, it, maybe. No, because it's third level only. That's what I figured. Had to try. Mm -hmm. Um, uh. Grauman's starting to get frustrated, and he's like, starts pacing back and forth. With that, Grom, uh, Thonk will go back to this thing and try and start inspecting whatever this thing is. Sure. Um, as you start inspecting it, it seems familiar to you in in some way. There's something about it that seems to, I don't know, uh, be familiar. When <laughs> as, you get, <laughs> as you get closer and closer to it, though not necessarily on, on, on top of it, <laughs> Corpse Grommin, um, all the, <laughs> your corpse is making me laugh. Uh, all of a sudden, something appears uh, within it. A shape appears within it. Uh, a familiar can shape? See, can I see that? To you, it looks familiar, but you don't know why. Yes, you can, Maggie. Uh, to Brahman, it does not look familiar at all. What? What is that? I, uh, I take a minute and I look at it, and I just uh, kind of softly say, I've seen this thing before. What is, what is it? I don't know. That's the fucking running theme of this fucking episode. <laughs> Castle of Illusion, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, it's. Do I have my weapons? I look around. I like. No, you're a corpse. I, I have no, I have no weapons. What if it? What if it attack? It's not too late, Thunk. Does that spur like a a check? Maybe. Damn nope. It. Too late for what? You can always make a deal, Thunk. Do I hear this? A deal for what? Why you make deal? Thunk, are you are you the reason we stuck in weird Otto dream place? Otto can still be saved, Thunk. Speaking over Grauman. No, Otto already saved. Otto in hallway. <laughs> Thunk, you need to wake up. I'm going to smack him. I want to smack Thunk. I want to punch him in the face. So he's going to go punch you in the face. Oh, However, with that... Uh, like oops, that's... Uh... <laughs> oh, shit. Great in the face. But, but that's another strength check. You want to roll an attack roll. Oh, I have to, but I don't have a... Because you get to add your, um... I don't have my thoughts. axe with me or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, it Gurgle's axe is a plus one, so you just remove that plus one, so... But what we'll do is we'll go your your uh, first attack, which apparently was a critical hit. So, you actually do, in fact, hit him, which is incredible. So, you're, instead of a 24, it's a 27. But, holy crap, you actually do crit. So, you hit him upside the head. Um... Thunk, um, he comes forward and swings at you to hit you upside the head. 
You have a slew of magic items that could easily stop that if you chose to. Uh, at this point, I feel like Thonk might be too confused to react quickly enough. Sure. So he'll just take the punch. Okay, you take a punch upside the head. Um, I mean, honestly, it's not that much damage. We're talking, it's like one plus strength, so it's six points of damage, which is effectively negligible to you. Mm -hmm. And um, he says, it, completely ignoring the fact that Thonk, uh, Grumman hit you, whether or not you choose a different story, it says, he can still chronicle all these stories. You have a life. You have done so much. And what is the deal then, creature? No, Thonk. No make deals. To save Chron Otto? Chronicle story, what that means? You need <laughs> only give me one of your eyes. Don't give him your eyes. And then as soon as he starts to see your reaction, he says, do not worry. Grumpsh only requires one. Don't give him your eye. <laughs> Dunk, what did you do? Why are you, are you the reason we here? Oh no. <laughs> Someone wake me up. <laughs> wake me up. Poor oh, Grom. Grom starts smacking right. himself. <laughs> right message is Thog again, and she's like, Otto is fine. Otto is fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I look to Grom and I look back. One of you is lying. Um. Do not trust the dead. I, I know lied to you. Save in Otto. Oh, Make the deal. Thunk, I if don't, you choose not I to have the chronicles, <laughs> then know that this before you, this form you see before you, is temporary at the least, at, at best. You could have the real Grommet. Invigored. Invigored and... Real Grommet in hallway. As your, as your chin. Can I make, like, a save or something at this point? I mean... Uh, you are, this whole thing is going on. It seems familiar. You already made your save. Nothing has inspired a second save yet. God damn it. Can you see if it's Well, like I look to him and I gesture back. You speak to Grommin as though he's dead, but I cast a spell that brought him back to life. He cannot be dead. This form is temporary. You yes, because I, I alive. Grommin. I'm in other place. Which yes, would you choose to Grommin save? In other place. Otto, Otto or Grommin. And Rai, you'd only make you a deal. You can save all of us. We, you just wake up. Wake up. And so and Grommin's make me like an intelligence, shaking you. Make me an intelligence check. Okay. I will make an intelligence check and burn my inspiration on it. Just to be safe. So get rid of that. So I roll with advantage, right? Okay. Please don't fucking suck. I mean, you are a thonk. 15. All of a sudden, when he says, Otto or Rai, you can make a deal, all of a sudden you remember the words, if not a deal, then there are three other options. You can go back in to save them. You can uh, choose to uh, fight my, uh, whatever they called, whatever I said. You can choose to uh, fight my champions, um, but I warn you, you are yet young, you are young and yet frail. Or you can choose to leave here this maze is not for you. Leave and take your sanity. I'll, I'll actually like say that and be like, no, you gave me three choices. And I chose the second to walk back in and help my companions. Then you need leave now. We. What happened? Where am I? Uh, were, make me a will save. All right, you, please, please, please. We all please, in please, hallway. Please, you there please, and please, I there. 20. And and uh, as Grommin's shaking you, like, you're in hallway, you're in hallway. You blink a few times and you're looking at Grommin shake, uh, you're looking at Grommin physically shaking you as well as in there shaking you. And you're in a hallway, you're in a hallway. <laughs> and you look around, you see Otto and Rai standing there. Everybody's looking disheveled for one reason or another. Everybody's looking disheveled. But you're, you're, you're standing there and you're, aside from like your neck hurting really bad, you're in a hallway, in a hallway. And in then hallway. Grommin throws up on you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh. <laughs> like oh. Why? Oh god. <laughs> so I blink a few times, I shake my head in confusion as like and then vomit hits my stomach and I'm just like, oh come on. And I look around and we'll stop the episode right there. Actually, <laughs> Grumman's just like holding his stomach. There's one more thing I leave you with before we stop. 
one last detail. Um, when you come back and you realize where you are, when you are, and what you haven't done, and all the work you put into it, all the years you put into it, and it was all nothing, it was fake, it was an illusion, the thonk actually comes back depressed. Oh, great. So... When we'll we come back next He's week. even more emo than he was to begin with. <laughs> we get to see. Oh, no, man. That was me in a good mood before. Now I'm going to be sure sad. I left him in there. <laughs> oh. I'm carrying around like a cassette tape with Green Day playing. Got headphones <laughs> on. Well, next uh, session will be next Tuesday. It'll be the final session with Sam for about a month or so. So we'll, uh, it'll be Ryan's farewell session temporarily. Um, Ooh, you guys are going to an orc place. Does that mean when you get there, Rai just gets thrown in the prison and beat to unconsciousness and she just stays that <laughs> way left for a while? There. Oh, yeah. oh, would never allow this. Sad. I'm down. I'm down with that. Uh, we're going to go around. Uh, people can tell what they're doing this week and what's going on. I want to thank every all the resubs and the new subs. Thank you guys for the support. It's yeah. been great. Uh, we got new emotes. We got four new emotes currently just waiting to be approved. Uh, we'll get those live as soon as we can. Uh, Sam, what do you got going on this week? Not a lot, man. Streaming games. What's up, guys? I'm stripping. You can find me on twitch.tv forward slash stripping or at stripping on Twitter. Um, going to be away uh, for the month of June because I'm getting married in in another country. Woo! Congrats. So I can go over there and get all that done. It's exciting. Kind of stressful. Uh, my condolences. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, I don't just get killed off next episode. It's Scott. <laughs> if you die, just think it'll only be permanent. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I've been doing a bit of uh, modded Terraria expert this week. Pretty fun, so feel free to swing on by. Check it out. Awesome. Listen, welcome to the Married Club. It's 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 fun. I always forget my ring, but but it's fun. <laughs> yeah, like I promise I'm there. Yeah. How I mean, do you I forget don't... your ring? <laughs> don't ask. Listen, I, I worked in restaurant for so many years. My hands were always wet. I just, eh. And now I'm always like, oh, where is it? I wash my, my hands, hands a lot, Maggie. My wet. hands are wet okay. because I wash them so often. So. Sanitation. Bear, what do you got going on this week? Hey, everybody. Owls. I'm, I'm Bear Taffy, twitch.tv slash Bear Taffy, also on YouTube and Twitter. Uh, playing Dead Cells. Dead Cells is a very, very good video game that I am doing and make content for. I'm also a uh, host of a podcast on Fridays, twitch.tv slash Roundtable Podcast that you can watch. It's also about video games. It's Surprise. Like video game. Yeah. That's Nerd it. stuff. Easy enough. Maggie! Hi! You guys can find me at um, Margaret Crone in all the places. Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. I don't know, wherever. Um, tomorrow and Thursday, we're actually going to be playing over on Delrick's channel. Um, doing a little two-shot with Ali Rant. He's been doing a lot of fan art for us. He's been the DM. And uh, Friday, I'm going to be checking out Prey. So it's I've only good heard game. good things about it, so I'm kind of excited. That's going to be my next... Uh, game series we finally finished Resident Evil 7 with my friends um, which was really weird uh, and then um, we'll be playing Planet Zatua on Saturday and then on Sunday we'll be doing Roleport Shadowrun which I'm really excited about and uh, next week is going to be awesome as well got a lot of things in store and um, yeah so follow me on all the things to find out more stuff nice girl. and Scott you've got a bunch of stuff going on this week too what's going on yeah, you already know about Lost Initiative, and you already know about Roll For It, and I assume the YouTube and the Twitter. So, so um, yeah, every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, I have a, um, a stream over on Twitch.tv slash Eric Master where we are playing in an Eberron 5e campaign. It's loads of fun. Things are getting interesting. They totally killed off one of my super important plot characters by by being non-committal PCs. It, it was very interesting and fun. But yeah, tomorrow we're uh, Maggie and I get to PC together for the first time after like six thousand hours of streaming in different roles. We get to PC together for two days. It's gonna be lots of fun. And I promise you, if you know who Dane is, this bard, because it's a bard again, is nothing like that. He's going to be so different. It's gonna be so much fun. I only wish Mathis was there so he could not want to throttle me while playing the game. So <laughs> that's but fine. I think he's I think he's going to like a farming convention. Yeah, I'm going to a farming. So. Yeah, speaking of, I won't be there because I'll be at a, an anime, a weeb convention, uh, starting tomorrow. That makes a lot of sense. And uh, I'll be there all through the weekend, and I'll be back on Monday. So if you see me, if you're going to MomoCon in Atlanta, say hello. I'll be on uh, Coptional Lounge on Saturday, 
bunch of friends, and uh, I played a ton of Player Unknown's Battleground, which will be going live uh, while I'm there. And then on Judge Mathis, I've got a Hollow Knight video coming out. I think that's it. So we'll be back next Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you, and we'll see you later.